Gonzalez gives up the dribble. Brown with the seal. And the finish. Yeah, 15 points in the fourth quarter. Here's fourth quarter for the Celtics in general. As uh, JB with that dunk right there, getting at 15 in the final frame. It's Celtics post game live. Tom Giles, Eddie House. Celtics get to win 135 to 100, Eddie. And it just seemed like fourth quarter, they just decided, you know what? We're that much better than you. And uh, despite the fact that Oklahoma City tried to play their way back in it in the third quarter, Celtics just flexing on them in the fourth. Yeah, they did. D defense. You know, it started with the defense, the ball movement. They had 33 assists on 50 field goals. They shared the wealth. They shared the basketball. Porzingis had a, a hell of a game, but I thought defensively is where they hunkered down. And, and, and I really did like our pace. We dictated the pace, whether it was off of defense playing fast, we played fast, but execution in the half court, I thought we did a really great job of, of doing uh, those two things, is controlling the pace and having great execution in the half court as well. 17 points in that fourth quarter for Oklahoma City. Uh, as you bring up that defense, Celtics also, and you saw just – Getting out in transition, uh, you know, creating something out of nothing. And uh, they get to 60 wins now on the season. And we'll get to that in just a little bit with both you and Scal because you guys, you were on the team last time the Celtics won 60 games in a season. Uh, but you brought up Chris House Porzingis. He had 27 points. It's the most he's had since the All-Star break. And uh, I do believe we have Abby standing by with Chris House Porzingis right now. All right, Chris House, you guys clinched the best record in the NBA. How does that sound? Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, we worked hard all season long, and uh, and yeah, we, we deserve it. Some great ball movement out here tonight. Beautiful dimes. Your touch pass was one of my favorites. How prepared do you guys feel as you are inching towards the postseason? Thank you. Uh, we feel good. We feel good. I think uh, now everybody's healthy. Um, at the right time, we have a few games left, and uh, we want to finish the season strong, no matter who we're playing against, and uh, head into the postseason with the right mindset. For you specifically, the line you had tonight, only one other Celtic has done that. That's Robert Parrish. It's also the 13th straight game that you've scored at least 17 points. Is this the most consistent you've played, the best you've played in your career? Uh, I don't think so. To be honest, I don't think so. Uh, I haven't shot the ball great, except for tonight. Tonight, I got back on track. Um, but I look to, like, have everything clicking at the right time. You know, I'm, not, I'm excited for that. And, uh, yeah, I want to finish the season strong and head into the postseason. Finally, how nice was it to get back here to TD Garden? It looked like you were having so much fun out there. You were smiling all night. Yes. No, I mean, this is the best place to play basketball in. And, and especially after a long road trip. Uh, of course, we have our fans everywhere, but there's no place like, like playing at home. And, and I enjoy this uh, game so much. AP, thank you. Congrats. Thanks. I love how honest he is, too, there, Eddie. Just uh, you're talking about the number one overall seed. It's like, yeah, we deserve it. Yeah, they do. And, uh, you know, clinching that top seed with uh, a handful of games to go here in the regular season is, again, it's the Celtics, the first time that they've clinched the number one overall seed across the NBA since 2008 when you guys went on to uh, win the championship. And uh, sticking back with Porzingis, though, I mean, it was the 27 points, 11 to 14 from the field but also the five blocks. And they had a couple right at the rim that kind of changed things and kind of changed the, the momentum in this game. Yeah, and he, he, he's he been doing that all season long. He's been the rim protector. He's been the back line of our de defense. And when, whenever somebody gets beat, it, as great as we are on the perimeter on our defense, we got him on, on the backside, and people are worried about him. And, and, you know, he's being modest. He's saying – he thinks, I, I won't say he's being modest. He's not being truthful in one thing. He said, he's, this is not the best he's been playing in this stretch. Well, it's the best he's been playing in, in a stretch to where it's meaningful basketball, to where you have an opportunity to do something special. So, like, relishing that moment, and, and I'm so happy for him because I know what he's went through. You know, being the guy in New York to where they thought that this was going to, he was going to change that franchise and the experiment in Dallas and then going and getting in Siberia, in, in Washington, and coming to, you know, basically basketball heaven, uh, the Boston Celtics, and having the opportunity to play with the guy he's playing with and have fun doing it. I, I love everything that's going on for Christoph Porzingis because there's been a lot of doubters and naysayers saying things that, you know, is he a rebounder? Is he tough enough? Is he a rim protector? If that's not going to put them over the top, well, all season long he's been showing that he is a guy that has actually elevated 
everything that we do night in and night out. Yeah, Scal joining us now as well. And Scal, what, what are your thoughts on uh, Christoph Porzingis? Seeing him also get 27 tonight, 11 of 14 from the field, just as efficiently as he played, and also the, the defense uh, around the rim. Efficient role uh, where he gets the switch and he just goes to work right over the guy. There's nothing the defense can do about it. Defensively, pursuing the ball, getting these big time blocks. Yeah, Porzingis was awesome today. And then you add in the fact that he goes three for three from three. I mean, the matchup nightmare. And I was, you know, kind of watching this game saying, I wonder why coaches haven't changed their defense against them. You know, they don't want to fly around and give up the Celtics threes. I think they're okay with him shooting that shot. And in the playoffs, he's going to have big moments when he's doing that. So if he gets to switch, because that's what teams do or blitz, he's going to make guys pay. So I'm looking at it from a short-term standpoint today, but I'm also, I think all of us are, kind of looking towards the playoffs. And Porzingis is going to be a real problem for a lot of people. Yeah, and uh, speaking of the playoffs and the fact that the Celtics clinching the number one overall seed, which was kind of, it was inevitable. Uh, but last time it happened was 2008. You guys were both on that team. I don't know if you can remember that moment when you guys knew that you are going to be the number one overall seed across the NBA, but does, what does that carry, Eddie? First off, we knew we was, uh, I, I, I almost said the wrong word. We knew we. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were going to say. We, we, <laughs> Yeah, I know you do. We we understood where we was at, you know what I'm saying? So there was never a doubt in our mind what we was what we were trying to accomplish and where we was gonna be at. And I, I think this team has that same mentality though. I think they understand from, you know, the time that they went to the finals and lost that to last year, losing in the conference fight and then coming back this year and, and being rebooted. I think they understand the task at hand and and when you understand it, it don't have to be talked about. You just go out there and handle business night in and night out. And that's what this team has done. Now, they have had times where you like, man, you know, they let go of the rope. We say that, but a long 82-game season, we weren't perfect either. But one thing we can say that night in and night out, when you look at it, at the record, the totality, everything, we was out there certified ass kickers. I just think it was amazing today that they were practicing some of their sets against the Oklahoma City Thunder. So that just shows you how good they were. And they won by 35. I mean, that's uh, – but, you know, right. we know the Celtics are good. They're, they can defend. I don't think the number one seed means anything. Like, they're not going to pop, you know, bottles or anything like that from doing that. But I do – I do think it's a heck of an accomplishment. And, you know, me and Eddie, we love that bread. And so when you got the best record in the league, you got a little bonus. <laughs> you know, everybody in the OA team, we love that bread. <laughs> get, that extra, get that extra cheese. Whatever it is, man, whatever it is, we love it. <laughs>